We are waking up to a new phase aimed to get Texas back in business. After being shut down for more than a month, retailers, restaurants, libraries, golf courses, and movie theaters all now have the green light from the state to let customers back in the door. It's part of Governor Abbott's latest push to restart the economy. The day to reopen comes a day after the state reported the highest toll, death toll, in a single day, more than 50. But not everyone is ready to reopen today. For those who are, we're curious to know what safety precautions they plan to take. Candy Rodriguez talked with a local restaurant owner to find out. Good morning. As you can imagine, a lot of sanitizing will take place inside and outside restaurants. I spoke with folks at C. Tejas and Poke Austin. Both restaurants will follow similar procedures. We're talking about mask requirements for employees and patrons, as well as disposable cutlery, single-use menus, to-go cups, and even single-use condiments. They'll practice social distancing and keep customers separated. They plan to check employees' temperatures at the door. At Z Tejas, that also applies to customers. Z Tejas will also implement a rotating table system. This means they will not seat a party at the same table where others just dined at. One big aspect for both of these restaurants and many others is the patios. Several restaurant owners are advertising their outdoor space. Z Tejas has four patio areas at its 6th Street location and Poke Austin's patio wraps around the building. Some restaurant owners have announced they will only use the patio areas. Folks at Z Tejas and Poke Austin say they understand why. That's where your space is. That's where, you know, I think people will feel the safest. So let's let's take advantage of that. And even better, it's the good weather right now. It's not 100 degrees outside. It's a cold 90 degrees. But I, I think they do feel more comfortable, you know, just being outdoors and feeling free. And I think for sure, you know, my personal preference would be to want to be able to sit outdoors. And I, I think that there is a little bit of safety there and, and it makes people feel more comfortable. Something else to keep in mind, will restaurants actually make money on a 25% capacity restriction? That's the million dollar question, and it's one that these men can't answer. They just simply don't know right now. The Ziteha COO tells me even if they don't make money, his goal is to keep his employees working and give the community hope. But they both say 25% is better than zero. Back to you. And hey, if you are thinking about gathering with others tonight for a dinner reunion, think again. Now is just not the time. The governor's orders have made it clear no more than six people to a table.